You're well, man. Great to connect with you. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What are you up to, man? What are you working on? Uh, nothing much. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, uh, just uh, going through all the research to start an agency. Nice. So I'm at the, nice. the very beginning. Um, and I caught on to your videos probably only like a week ago. Really? But I just resonated with you. Uh, the mm-hmm. fact that you um, focus on realtors, because uh, yes. I was a realtor for 10 years up until last year. Amazing, dude. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. So I was, I was pretty inspired by all your videos and how you give so much value in those videos. Thanks, bro. And I said, I need to connect with this guy and see if he can help me in some way or has a coaching program or can guide me or is something. I mean, I, I, I don't have like a coaching program, but as far as like just... I always love jumping on these calls because I love to give value. I love people that appreciate me, right? Like I appreciate you right back. And to tell you the truth, I end up just recording these calls, throwing them up, throwing them up on my YouTube channel. And YouTube pays me every month for that. And I'm fired up about building a YouTube channel. So shit, I can always jump on these calls, man. We can shoot the shit. And as long as I can record them and put them up, I mean, mm-hmm. dude, that's really, that's really all I, all I really do. And so there's just so much abundance out there, bro. Like there's so many, Like, that's what I tell you the truth. You're the first to hit me up on realtors. I have so many calls. I've spoken to so many people um, and just coaching them on on my advice and and giving them my two cents on on building an agency. But for other businesses, never has someone hit me up on realtors. And it's like, there's so many out there, man. So it's like, I can't get to all of them. So it's like, I'd love to just share anything I can, you know, share with you and hopefully cut your learning curve in half. You know what I mean? Right. it just, it just comes down to what you're, what exactly you're looking to do. I can tell you what I do for them. And, and to tell you the truth, whether it's them, whether it's a chiropractor, whether it's a freaking landscaper, it's all the same. Um, as far as the strategies, as far as what I truly believe is the only thing you should be doing for anybody, for any small business owner. Um, so whatever questions you may have, man, I could, I could for sure answer them and, and just kind of put my little twist to it on what I do daily, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I did have some questions. Yeah, dude. Uh, dude. So, and these are based off only watching, I mean, you got a ton of videos and I'm sure you know that. So yeah. in a week I've only got to a fraction of them, but from my understanding, you, you don't manage the, their Facebook profiles, you run their Facebook ads and then you sell funnels that you've created. Um, no, I don't sell them, but, but I, yeah, I'll give them away. Like for example, I'll give them to my clients, like a real estate agent. I'll simply build them because once you learn, like I use Kartra for all the landing pages um, and, and stuff like that. I use Kartra because it comes with everything, like everything I can, everything you're going to need to build any kind of online business. It's all in one. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with click bundles or um, like Kajabi or any of these other lead page type of softwares. Most of them, in fact, all of them are are just one software. So, for example, ClickFunnels is the most popular one. Um, are you familiar with ClickFunnels at all? Yeah, I've done my yeah, I've done a lot of research on ClickFunnels, DropFunnels. Uh, yeah. DropFunnels is a newer one or something. Okay, but ClickFunnels. I with anything yet. Okay, ClickFunnels is is the most popular. They've built a huge brand. I would say maybe. I mean, shit, man, maybe, maybe I, like, honestly, I would say maybe nine out of 10 marketers use click funnels for landing mm-hmm. pages, like to, to drive traffic to a web page, to capture a lead click funnels kind of, kind of just blazed the path about six years ago. And, and, and Russell Brunson, which is the one who runs click funnels, he's just an amazing guy, dude. Like, so it's like, he's one of those type of characters where, where, you end up watching a few videos and you're like, holy crap, dude, I resonate with that guy. That's my guy, right? Like he's one of those types of guys where it's like, it's so easy to get to be attracted to him from a business and just a personal, he just, he's just a regular normal ass dude that has built a huge company, like huge company. They do like almost a couple hundred million a year. So he started it all. But anyways, my point is, is that the, a lot of people, a lot of marketers, whether you're an agency owner or anything, if you're trying to run something on the internet, you need to start driving it to a landing page rather than a website to capture the lead. So Russell Brunson rolled, rolled out that, but it, the problem, the, my whole personal problem is that it's just the landing page. So when it comes to what you're trying to do, build an agency or anyone trying to sell anything on the internet, 
there's other components that are necessary. So for example, you need, you need, you need a software for landing pages and that's just click funnels. So that's a hundred bucks a month. And then I have mm -hmm. to go find an email autoresponder because once I capture the lead, I then need to follow up with that lead. And I'm not going to sit here and email a hundred people every day. So I need some type of email automation, some type of email autoresponder software. So normally you can start off on some of the free ones, MailChimp or whatnot. Like there's some free ones out there that you can only use for so long until you outgrow them. And then you got to pay like another 50, 60 bucks a month for the, for, <clears throat> for the autoresponder, for the email autoresponder. And then if you're like real estate agents or if you're like me or you, like an agency owner and you're looking to maybe capture leads and get people to schedule appointments, then you need a third software for your calendar. And mm. so with Kartra, just those three alone are all in one for the same hundred bucks. <clears throat> So you got ClickFunnels, hundred bucks a month. You got your email automation, another fifty to hundred bucks a month. Before you know it, you're at about, you're at about three to four hundred a month, trying to juggle three softwares. And so when I came across Kartra in 2018, I'm like, dude, everything is in one for hundred bucks. And so I've been I've been using Kartra. Um, but what I do, like for any whether it's a real estate agent or anyone else, yeah, I'll put together a handful of funnels, and then as I'm bringing on clients, I'll just give it to them. <clears throat> I'll give it to them because in order for them to activate it anyways, they need to set up an account. So with Kartra. So, so they have to pay the hundred dollars. They have to pay the hundred bucks. Yeah, okay. dude. They have to pay that, that hundred bucks a month. And, and I tell them all the time, I'm like, dude, the most popular one is click funnels, go and get click funnels. It's a hundred bucks a month, but it's only the landing page with Kartra. We have the email automation. We have the calendar and not to mention everything else that comes with it, but just those three alone, I try to keep it that simple to justify a hundred bucks. Like you're going to need your landing pages. You're going to need email automation and you're going to need a calendar because as we go and try to market listings or open houses, or we try to go out there and run ads to give away your seller guide or your buyer guide, we're looking to get people to schedule appointments. So we need some type of online calendar to make that happen. And so with Kartra, those three alone justify a hundred bucks a month. And I tell them, I say, Hey, I'll, I already have the entire funnel. Like I'll ha I have a, a funnel on a listing or an open house, simple funnels, right? But, but to them, to the average person, they're like, holy crap, you must have put a lot of time into that. You must have put a lot of energy into building something like, something like that. And to tell you the truth, man, I mean, once you learn it, it's like, dude, I'll build a funnel in five minutes. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not hard at all. Just, I mean, obviously that sounds biased, but it's something I eat, breathe, and sleep. So I, I can do it you know, in a few minutes. And you, as a marketer now, as an agency owner, you'll learn how to do these things in a couple minutes as well. And so just by being able to package all package it all up and then as you know they're hiring me I'm able to throw that in just as an just as like an added bonus and and justify you know the cost of it all you know so um I'll have funnels on deck open house listing whatever seller guide you know and 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 just be able to just give it to them so I'll send them my affiliate link for Kartra so they have to activate the account first and they do it under my account under my link so I make that little 40% commission every month on them right uh, Plus, I'm making a retainer if I'm charging them, you know, a thousand a month or fifteen hundred a month or whatever. Plus, I make that, and so, um, yeah, man. So that's that's what I do. I'll, I'll, I won't sell them the funnel, um, but you can. You can build a whole business around just selling funnels. To that's people. what I would. That's one of the questions I had. Is yeah, if I made a, a made a funnel, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, if I contacted a real estate agent and said, I've already got your your sort of landing page slash website for you. Oh, sort yeah, of rent dude. it off me where I send them the link. But, but then is there a way to still keep that funnel? And if another agent contacts me, I can go oh, into that yeah. funnel, change it hell and yeah, send dude. him. Or is that, is oh, that yeah. template gone? No, dude, hell no. That's your template. So you got the template, you got the master copy right. and you could share it with a hundred different people. And, and that's the beauty of it. You know, um, that's the beauty. It's almost of it, like dude. a done for you landing page. I was thinking that, like, pay me a one-time fee. Here's the landing page. You just have to have a, a Kartra uh, account. So it might be yeah. 99 a month. Yeah. I'll design the landing page for you. Here you go. And then I can still keep that template and reuse it over and over for other agents. Just change the contact. Yes, info. dude. Yes. And okay. then, and then whatever you're charging them, let's say you do charge them a, a monthly retainer, you know, to, to do other things, which I'll tell you what those other, th other things are that would justify also you managing it for them because right. that's why I would tell them also, I, I tell them, Hey man, not only am I going to run Facebook ads, not only am I going to help you with all that, 
but I'm even, even going to, I'm even going to manage your entire Kartra account. So these landing pages, if we ever need to tweak them, I'm your man. If we need to set up, you know, a different email sequence and, 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 and set up more emails, I'm your man. So I, I package all that up. So here's the deal, dude, when it comes to trying to build this agency here, here's the real, the real ROI, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Freaking, um, income producing activities. Here are the income producing activities that any business will pay you for to run okay. your Facebook ads and to manage their landing page software. That's it, dude. You don't need to be posting for people. You don't need to be Instagram living for nobody. Like I, I convince people all the time. I'm pitching them all the time on how all that shit's a waste of time, even for them to do it. Like you got every agent posting on every damn platform, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, a lot of them are doing TikTok and they're trying to dance their way, you know, around. It's like, dude, like all of that stuff. And, I, and it's not just an agent. I'm pitching business owners all the time as well, just random business owners, where it's like, I truly believe organic posting is a waste of time only because you're a local business owner. So as I'm talking to a local realtor, I'm like, dude, you're farming two zip codes. But when you look at your Facebook friend list and you have 3,700 friends, 99% of them live across the country. So the moment you post your listings or open house on your personal page, no one cares. And the 300 likes that you have on your business page, those came from you clicking invite to the 3,700 people that live across the country. So when you post on your business page, you're hearing crickets over there too. And you take the same listing or, or whatever and you put it on your LinkedIn, you got freaking 5,200 connections on LinkedIn. 99% of them don't live in the area. True. Instagram. Yeah, I, I, I watched that video you know? of your talked about that with the, yeah. the one age. Um, and I talked to my wife about it and I said, yeah, all these people, they don't even live in my right. city. Right. So I don't know why they're on here. Yes, dude. Yeah. And, and that's, 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 what right. it, that's, that's what I, 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 I truly you know, believe in. And that's why I'm telling them, I say, dude, I don't even want you posting anymore. You're going to bring me aboard the marketing team and I'm going to run your Facebook ads and I'm going to capture leads. I'm going to drive them to this landing page and I'm, I'm going to make sure leads are coming in every single day. That's the only thing you're hiring me for. That's it. That's the only thing I want to do for you. And, 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 and that's why I love going after business owners that have a high, you know, ROI, a high profit margin. Real estate agents are one of them. It's like, dude, you make seven grand on the deal. How can you not justify paying me a thousand a month? You know, and, and given, I get it, not everyone's closing deals every month, but hey, bro, that's before I came around. Like, shit, now that we're going to start running ads, we're going to, leads are going to be coming in. So now mm -hmm. that I want to start branding you and getting that entire city to know who you are, leads are going to start coming in. So although you may have not closed an escrow since the last four months, it's time to change all that. So, right. so and that's the thing about real estate agents. As you know, man, you guys aren't closing deals. And I was a, I was a loan officer. So in the mortgage industry, I wasn't funding deals every month either. So I know how it is. And that's why with real estate agents, what, here's what I would do with you, bro. If, here, if I were you, here's, and, and, and you know, to tell you the truth, this is what I, 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 I would do, but where I'm at now, I'm packaging all my knowledge. I'm packaging everything up that I do for these people. And I'm going to be selling them a course and okay. all through Kartra as well. So what I'm doing is my full, like these calls that you're seeing me do with real estate agents, it's about an hour long call. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing now is I'm putting together a webinar where I'm running Facebook ads to my webinar to get to buy my thousand dollar course. Like that's where I'm at now, as far as, you know, in my career and where I want to scale my business. Right. But if I was just starting, if I was just starting, knowing that, knowing what I know now, I would simply, do you got, where are you at? First of all, what, what area where you at? What? Uh, right. Well, it's kind of funny right now. I'm in Ontario, Canada. Oh, but shit, I'm, right. I'm with my family here. We're immigrating to Florida. So I gotcha. started working in Tampa, Florida, but during lockdown, I came back to be with my family. Okay. So right now I'm in Canada, but uh, the intent okay. is when kids go back to school, I go back to Florida. Okay. Do you guys have out there in Florida? Actually, well, I don't know if you know just yet, but out here in San Diego, there's what, there's a magazine, a famous magazine, a luxury magazine called Dream Homes. Do you know about that magazine? No, I don't. Dream Homes, I don't know if it's a nationwide I think I may have seen it before. I think it's I may have heard of it. Oh, I don't have I don't have a copy of one. But Dream Homes magazine is is out here in San Diego, popular luxury million dollar home magazine. And all the agents in there, obviously they put their face in there, they're advertising their listings. These are five, ten, fifteen million dollar properties, right? If I knew what I knew today, 
I would, and as much as I don't want to cold call anyone because I come from that industry, I've been cold calling my whole life and I, I, I didn't want to do that no more. But, but, but if I knew what I, but if I knew what I knew today, meaning most agents don't have a huge, huge monthly budget. That's what I'm talking about. No. So, so, so to get a thousand, fifteen hundred a month out of most agents isn't going to happen. But as I'm mentioning this dream home magazine in that magazine would save me a lot of time on having a search for agents because in there, there's a couple hundred agents in every damn monthly magazine. I would call every single one of them if I was starting all over because these are luxury multi-million dollar listing agents and spending 2000 a month on somebody to market on social media for them is, is a drop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, a good tip. So whatever luxury magazine publication you can get your hands on, I would, I would reach out to some of them and say, Hey man, my name is Scott. I do a lot of social media marketing for real estate agents. I'd love to show you what I can do. Um, in fact, I see that listing that you got in this magazine. It's a beautiful home. Are you running Facebook ads on it? That's exactly what my pitch would be, dude. And, and, and I'm only here to run Facebook ads, whatever the hell you're doing. I, yeah. You got an Instagram account. You got 7,500 followers. Hey, guess what? I hate to freaking toot your horn, but 99% of them don't live in the area. And 99% of them are not high income earners at all. Like, unless you're the mayor, unless you're freaking on million dollar listing, you don't have your organic followers are, 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 are nothing. Like they don't mean nothing. So I get it how you're probably posting everywhere and you got, you know, your, your, your headshots of you in front of your Bentley and you look all sick on your Instagram account and you look all freaking legit in your three piece suit. You can keep doing that. But what I want to do for you is I want to run Facebook ads, like a listing, an open house, whatever the hell you got going on. Let me run Facebook ads directly to that farm. And I charge $1,500 a month plus the cost of your Facebook ads, which will be about $500 a month. And so $2,000 a month to someone like that that's you know, closing million-dollar loans or deals, it's like shit. If I, if I went straight out the gate, because the way I did it is I started small. Like I literally dropped a video today talking about how I start people small because I know this. I know they don't have a huge budget right now. So, mm -hmm. so my whole um, – foot in the door is getting for a few hundred up front right now. And, and, and what I do is I close, I close, I close anywhere from a, you know, one to two a day. So getting each agent at a couple hundred a month, two to three, or not a month, but two to 300 up front, I start them small. I don't even start them on a monthly retainer because again, I'm going after the masses and the masses of agents right. don't have a huge budget, but they'll easily give me a credit card for anywhere from 200 to 500 bucks. And if I'm closing, let's just say one of those a day, that can feed my family up front. Plus the ad spend, right? Yeah, plus the ad spend. Yeah. Okay. But, and, so, and so I'll start them off small and, and at the end of the month, only keep a handful that are actually willing to go all in. Um, so is there a contract that like a... Like are no, they month dude, to month or like I, I don't months? have nothing like that. I mean, a lot of people do. I mean, if you want to get super legit with your business, I guess you can have a contract, but I don't, dude. It's like, and especially in the beginning, especially in the beginning, it's like I'm only running a couple ads free in the beginning. Um, I'm optimizing your social media. So, and what that means is making sure that all of your platforms are all matching. Like if, if you're, if you're, if your Facebook is facebook.com forward slash, you know, Scott estates, I want to make sure that your Instagram is that way. Your Twitter is that way. Your LinkedIn is that way. Your Pinterest is that way. And 10 out of 10 times, none of them are. So little simple, um, 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 jobs. Like that's one simple step. I call that step one, like step one. Let me look at all your platforms. Let me get everything matching. Like all your shit is freaking all over the place. Like your Instagram is underscore estates. Your freaking Twitter is Scott dot one, two, three. Your LinkedIn is right. Scott dash real estate realtor with Colwell. Like your shit's all over the place. That's how it is with 10 out of 10 people, whether it's an agent or a business owner, it doesn't matter. All other platforms suck. And, and as far as, as far as the link, Okay, as far as the link, not talking about the aesthetics and the designs and the image and all that. That's not, not that. I'm talking about the links. That's where I start them off. I'll, I'm like, hey, man, let me take a look at all your platforms and let me get all this situated. All, let me get all these links in order. And then what I'll do is I'll run a like ad on their business page because 10 out of 10 real estate agents have about 300 likes on their business page. So what I end up doing is I end up saying, hey, the very first ad we're going to run, and this is what I call step two. Step one is linking everything. Step two is running a like ad and taking your 300 likes to 3,000. Okay. Let's do that first. And, and so I run that ad for them with a good profit margin for me with all up in it. Um, 
and 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 I'll, and and again, two two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. They'll spend on that one ad, and I'll close at least one a day, um, and that's the upfront money. And then I have through my car trip because the email automation is so important. Once I bring on a client, they're now in my funnel and they're now receiving emails from me. So I'll onboard a client today. I'll work on the links. I'll work on running that like ad and taking the, that like count up. And the only reason why the like count needs to go up, leads are not coming from there. So just because I'm going to take it to 3,000 likes, leads are not going to come from there. The reason why you want a high like count is because every agent in the country has 200 likes. And that's the first impression. It's just what we see when we land on your business page. On your business page. So if you if you come to my business page and see ten thousand, versus going mm-hmm. to Scott's page and you see one fifty, Scott's building an agency. David's building an agency. Automatic. You don't know either one of us because no one knows anyone on social media. But you look right. at my business page, ten thousand likes. All of a sudden, you automatically assume that I'm the shit. That's why that like count is so important and everybody overlooks it. Everybody overlooks it. But at the same time, every agent is clicking invite to their 3,700 friends that live all across the country to get 300 of them to like their page when none of them care anyways. So let's spend a couple hundred bucks to take 300 or 3,000. And then, and then, and then as I onboard that client, those are mainly the, the first two things that I do, bro. Like, again, this could be for any business owner, for any business. It's those two things, link optimization and running that like ad. And again, I can feed my family by closing a few of those per week on the front end. And then on the back end, I have my emails that are automated, automatically going out. So in about a week, you're going to get another email from me. Hey, Scott, this is Dave just following up. Hey, man, letting you know our like ad is freaking crushing it. We're now, you know, surpassing our goal. Hey, man, take a look at the next emails I have coming your way because that's when I'm going to be wanting to schedule another call with you to talk about the next step. Can't wait to talk to you, Scott. And so in my next future emails that I send out to them are call or emails to get them back on the phone to now talk about local lead capture. Now, as I took you for 300 up front, now I'm ready to take you for a thousand a month. And, mm. and, and, and I have it all set up through my email. So it's very non-aggressive. I'm not calling you. I'm not freaking, I'm not texting you. Hey, John, are you ready to talk about the next step? No, dude, I'm not doing any of that. It's all through my email automation, very non-aggressive. And, and as I'm bringing on, let's just call it a client a day. Um, all, you can look at all these damn strategy calls. I'm posting every damn call up that I'm doing every day. Um, and I'm closing deals every day. So it's like with that upfront money, I'm able to feed my family. And then out of, out of, let's just call it, let's call it five, let's call it four, four a week. I'm closing four a week at a few hundred each at the end of the month. That's 12. So at the end of the month, as my emails go out to my 12, two to three of them are going to reply to my emails automatically schedule an appointment and be ready to talk about the next step because now they're fired up that I got their links in order. They're fired up because now they have 4,200 likes. So now they're like, Holy shit. Okay. Now this guy, David, now, now, now he wants to talk about lead capture. Now he wants to talk about running local ads to take over my farm. Heck yeah. So then I have, I have people schedule an appointment and then that's when I get them on the back end and I'll bring on clients. Um, so, the, so the likes are local. No, that- no, no, they're all over. That, that's the thing about a like ad. That's the thing about the likes. What every agent tries to do and what every business owner tries to do is they'll try to run a like ad to their local area. Can't do it that way. Like you could try, but you're going to spend freaking 500 bucks and have 15 likes. And at the end of the day, the likes, all we're taking them there for is for the perception. The only reason why I want to take that uh, like up. Optics or the perception. The that- perception, bro. Like that's I- all it is. The first impression, the perception Every agent in the country has 300, John. All I want to do is when people land on your page, I want them to see 3,200. And that's right. worth the first couple hundred bucks. So if we can look at a monthly budget and you're telling me you got 500 for the month, okay, cool. We're going to take the first 250 and I'm going to run this like ad. And that's what I do. And, and again, um, you know, I'll tell you off record, but my profit margin within that is enough to feed my family. So it's a good profit margin. They're getting what they want. I'm delivering a great service. I'm running a great ad. There's absolutely no way in hell they would have had 3,200 likes any other way. Like you cannot run it to just your local area because you'll spend way more, nor do you need to because that's not where, where, where leads are even coming from. Because when you post on your business page and when you post organically, Facebook is only showing that post to 1% of your likes anyways. So 
That's not where your leads are going to be coming from at all. Not your organic posting at all. And then number two, whether I run the like ad to everyone or you remain with your 500 likes, as you post, all those people live across the country. So none of them care about your listing either. So let's just run the ad, take it from 500 to 5,000. So when we do go on to local lead Facebook ads, it's the people in your farm, when they start seeing your ads and they come to your business page and you have 4,700 likes, that's who I want to impress. Mm, right. Right. So, so that's why I call it step two. Step two is the like ad. And then we go to step three to run local ads to your farm. And at, by that time, links are looking good. Your like count is through the freaking roof. Now, now everyone in your local area is looking at John's page, looking at Stacy's page. Everyone has 300 likes. You got 3,700 all of a sudden. You look like King Kong just on the first impression, on the perception. You know, mm -hmm. so, so that's where I start them at. Um, and then at the end of the month, you know, let's just say 12 a month for a week, a handful of those will come back, schedule an appointment and be ready to talk about the next level. And that's when I, that's when I end up pitching them on, on, on something monthly, you know, a thousand a month you know, and then, and then maybe, maybe 500 for Facebook ad spend, you know, but there's a lot that goes into Facebook ads that they have no clue about, man, like no clue. And I don't know how advanced you are with Facebook ads, but just even the basics, like there's a lot that goes into just the basics. Well, so, I, I ran ads as a realtor in 2015 just for myself Yeah. and basic. So I definitely need to be refreshed. Yeah. However, I've been talking to one realtor, um, who I'm kind of doing it for free mm -hmm. just to, as in, in return, I get a, like a referral or a testimonial. Um, but the struggle that we were having is just even like connecting. Like he did a business page cause he didn't have one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and just connecting him to my business manager. So we were having hiccups there. So now he just gave me his login. So I just went into his business account and mm -hmm. started to run an ad. Good. And okay. that's where we're at as of yesterday. Okay. Now I, I went ahead and said, I made a seller's guide for them. And I said, oh, I'll just get it linked and it'll send them an automatic seller's guide. Uh, but, but I had to research that and go, oh, I think it's MailChimp that can connect to a Facebook lead ad. Yeah, so now yeah. I'm at the point where now I've got to find out how to connect MailChimp to Facebook. That's so the thing, dude. Too many steps. That's where I'm at right now. But, yeah. but I do like your steps a, a lot better. Yeah, way, way too many steps. So when you run lead generation, that's what you're running in Facebook. You're running lead generation. So you're using Facebook's landing page. And then, yeah, once you, once, you, once you get that set up, then you have to connect it. You have to integrate it with Zapier. So Zapier can then communicate with MailChimp. And as that lead fills out the form, then they're automatically put into MailChimp. And then you got to set up MailChimp to automatically send out that email. So it's just right. way too many. I, I so you do, you do need Zapier then? Yeah, you're, you're, yeah you're, you're going to need it. Yeah, you're going to need it. Uh -huh. and I think there's like, yeah, a I, I, I like your, I like, well, I definitely like your technique a lot better. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> Kinda, I, I, I think I jumped the gun before I knew, before I became experienced with it. Um, yeah. You'll, but, you'll learn, dude. You'll learn. We'll jump on some yeah. more calls. Like you'll learn, but in, in Facebook, it's, it's, it's the ads manager. So you come in here, you hit create and you go to add and you'll be, you'll be in the ads manager. And so rather than, in fact, let me just show you. Um, but when you're, when you're doing your ads for the realtors, are you requesting access to their ad manager and you're running the ads through your ad business manager account or are you very, just log? Yeah. yeah the very, the very, I'm sorry. The very first ad is the like ad and no, all I'm requesting access to is your business page. I'm running it from my end. Um, now as we go into the, into step three and we start running lead ads, then I'll, I'll request access to your ad account because now Facebook's going to start charging you and I'm going to start running it out of your ad account. So you're, you're paying me my monthly fee and you're going to pay your Facebook ad spend, whatever the hell we spend. So a like ad is uh, you don't have to pay for a like ad. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I'd pay for it on my end though. So Facebook charges me. So I request access from my account. I request access to their business page. Okay. That's separate from their ad account. And, and then you're running, you're, when you go in to make the like ad, you're logging into your business manager account. Yeah. It's all in my account. Okay. But I, gotcha. But I run it from their page. Right. So, so, okay. so like 
I'll come in here and I can just, I can just hit this, this box for housing. You got to always check that box for housing. Yeah, and then, and that, then, that's one thing I understood. <laughs> yeah, that right there is super important. But what you, what you have going on right now is the lead generation. Correct. And that's just, that's just more steps than I really care to, to work with because then I need Zapier. And then I need a, a standalone email autoresponder. Um, you can use the MailChimp, the free version for so long, but as that lead count increases, you're going to have to pay for it. Um, so rather than just paying 50, 60 bucks a month, whatever it is for MailChimp, that's why I just use Kartra and rather right. than lead generation, I run conversion ads, nine out of 10 marketers, nine out of 10 of the best marketers run conversion ads. That's conversions to capture lead. Nine out of 10. Yeah. So lead generation is, is only if you don't have a landing page. So conversions is if you have a landing page. So I would run conversions. They click on learn more. They come straight to my Kartra page. They click on the button. They enter their name and email and they're automatically in my email autoresponder. So I don't have to integrate anything, no, no Zapier, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just, it's just when I set the ad, I send it, I send them to this, to this link right here and, um, and, and capture the lead. Right. So yeah, yeah I think I haven't got to that step. So yeah. I think I was trying to do, I want to say the basic, but let, let's just do a lead gen ad and we'll just automate they can automatically send the, the guide that I made um, to them. But obviously it'd be a lot easier if I just did one post for him, like a listing or an open house. Those are easy. But now I went ahead and said, let's do an uh, auto responder. <laughs> well, so even, maybe even with a the listing or the open house, you still want to run conversions and the email yeah. auto responder is way, way important because mm -hmm. for example, if I was running an ad on a listing, this is where I would take them. I would take them to something like this. Here's a landing page. They see the Facebook ad, get, they click on learn more. They come to one single page, view all 17 photos now, and I capture the lead. Once I capture that lead, that email autoresponder is sending them an email right away. Mm -hmm. Hey, Scott, this is David. Hey, thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, man, this property is freaking hot. Tons of people are going to be taking a look at it this weekend. Blah, blah, blah. Right? So in that first email that triggers, then and that is actually that's actually spelled that's supposed to be s e l l right what is that where is, is that property property will sell fast is it s e l l yeah that says that property will sell fast yeah this needs to be changed but that email would automatically go out right, right away right specs on the property photos everything about the property right but tomorrow another email has to go out Hey, Scott, this is David. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, I know yesterday you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the property and tell you what to expect, blah, blah, blah. Hey, and by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your private showing. Can't wait to talk to you, Scott. Have a great day. So in these automated emails that are, that are set to go out over the next four, five, six, seven days, all those emails are talking about the listing. All those emails are talking about the seller guide. All those emails are talking about the open house coming up. But in every single email is a link to my calendar to schedule a call. Mm -hmm. So that's why when I use MailChimp for the email, I then got to go use Calendly for the calendar because that one's free for the beginning. Then I got to go get some type of landing page software. ClickFunnels is the most popular one, and that's 100 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. just, just for the damn landing pages. So multiple services, I use everything in one and that's Kartra. My calendar, my email automation, and my landing pages. And in Facebook, it's very simple. It's conversion ads and that's it. So, right. So all you want to be doing, man, for people is, is running Facebook ads and managing, excuse me, managing their landing pages and their email automation. That right yeah. there is-, is So I think- up. Uh, I, I totally agree with you. And I think maybe I'll have a conversation with the realtor and see if we can pivot, pivot away from what I did <laughs> and uh, see if we can kind of start fresh. Um, yeah. Dude. Cause I, I think this is, you know, a, a, obviously a lot better route than trying to connect. Cause then I have to make accounts for him on Zapier and all that. Cause I'm doing yeah, this dude, free yeah. just to get started. But I think maybe I got started. Like, would you, should you suggest I, I keep going with the realtor and pivot or should I just tell him, in, in, a, in a nice way that, you know, I've got to get my own landing page up 
my own business stuff going in Kartra before I go after clients? No, not necessarily. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. Um, but what you do want to do is you want to get used to Facebook ads and you want to get used to Kartra, like bottom line, like you're going to need Kartra, bro. Like it's going to save you an arm and a leg. Like, um, and it's all you need. So yeah. And I, I, this, I I already have a ton of these funnels. Like if you were to sign up, if you were to just set up a 14 day trial, click on the link in my, in any of my YouTube descriptions, a profit with Kartra.online set up a 14 day trial and I'll freaking transfer all these damn funnels to you. And then you can just play around with them in the 14 day trial and, and, mm-hmm. and just kind of get used to them. That's, that's, that's where the money is at. The money is in, is in managing the landing pages and the email automation for them because you got oh. You, you want to make sure these leads are coming in. So I'm running your Facebook ads and I'm running this back end for you as well. That is going to justify what I want to charge you per month. And, mm-hmm. and, and I always tell people we'll start small. Like let's start at just 500 a month. Like, let, and, and then, and then as, as we start to get deals in, which will be soon, you know, within the first 30 days, I plan on bringing in some leads and hopefully you can do your part on your, on your side, John, right? Hopefully you could freaking get people on the phone and, and, and do what you do. But in the first month, we should start seeing some real, real, real activity. And so by month number two, I want to scale up. You know, I want to get you to the point, John, where we're spending 2,500 to three grand per month. And I plant that in, this, in, in their mind in the very beginning. Right. I, I, I have them already thinking 3,000 a month in the very beginning. Because you could take, if you really master this Kartra site and master the Facebook ads, I truly believe you could bring any rookie and start crushing it for them. As long, as long as they're willing to put out content. And that's another, another disclaimer. That's another, another important thing. I believe in video. I believe in video, right? Not everyone's a video person. Not everyone's a video person at all. In fact, 99% of real estate agents are not video people. I've spoken to thousands of them, bro. Right, yeah. They're not at all. And so it's like, that could be that can kind of that can kind of be a little roadblock um because what i want to do for you is literally take your videos and get thousands of people in your local farm to see them that is the ultimate branding like the ultimate branding so what you were doing before bro posting your damn listing i seen a million houses like well, i don't care about that house there's nothing different about your freaking beautiful home that you have for the, on the market. Now, if it's a listing, then obviously, yeah, that's what you're running an ad on. But if you're not, if you don't have a listing or an open house coming up, we're running an ad on a seller guide and don't post a house of some, don't post another house. Like we've seen, we all seen houses. There needs to be something personal. So either you're going to run headshots and people are downloading your seller guide or you're going to do video. And that's why I tell people all the time. I'm like, dude, it's so freaking easy to do video. Like you need to get over it. Like you need to crush the butterflies. You need to freaking get over it and, 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 and pull out your damn cell phone and just do what you do. Because, and, and, and I tell them all the time, I'm like, man, I don't think you understand it. I don't think you realize that you know more. And this is a true, honest to God truth, bro. This is what I really feel. This is how I really feel. This is what I'm telling real estate agents. And this is what I'm going to tell you because you, you're a freaking agent for 10 years. This is what I'm going to tell you. I don't think you realize that you know more about the buying and selling of residential real estate than 99% of the entire country. The only people that you may not know more about are real estate investors that have been doing it for 35 years or other agents and brokers that have been practicing longer than you. Mm -hmm. Every other consumer, bro, they don't know shit about real estate. Nothing. So what's so powerful about video is that you can literally, out of all this knowledge you have, dude, out of all of this knowledge, I want you to focus on one. We're going to focus on buyers or we're going to focus on sellers. So if we can focus on one, out of all this knowledge that you have on selling, all you got to do and all I want you to do is pull out your cell phone and give me two minutes and give me one per week. Most can't even do that. But to me, that shit is simple, dude. If I sat down with you, Scott, if my wife and I were moving, bro, and I wanted to sell my house, and I said, Scott, you're an agent. You've been doing this for 10 years. I know you're badass. I know you crush it at what you do. I'll tell you what, bro. My in-laws, they're trying to send over some agents that want to help me. You know, my wife, we don't know who the hell to go with, but you're my boy. Do you mind if we have coffee? You know, we could sit down maybe on Friday. I'll bring my wife. You know, we'll meet with you. We'll sit down, and I want you to kind of tell me what you're, what you're going to be able to do to sell my house. If you took that appointment with me, man, and we sat down and we met at Starbucks, you can talk my ear off 
you would completely sell the shit out of yourself on listing my house. Mm -hmm. You would get my business, bro, because you know all this stuff. The moment you can pull out your cell phone and give me two minute short versions of all the knowledge you have in your head, which you already have in your head, you would crush it. Because whatever you're saying in that two minute video, what I always tell people, okay, if we're focused on a seller guide, that's, we don't have a listing, we don't have an open house coming up, so let's focus on sellers and we're gonna give away a seller guide. So in my two minute video, I would talk about the importance of curb appeal and how important it is to have my landscaping in place to really ensure the value of my home when I go to sell. I would start educating people on the process of selling, what it takes to renovate a kitchen, what it takes to freaking update your flooring, maybe new roofing, Maybe what it takes to freaking, you know, you know, all the stuff, bro. Like, you know, every tip and trick tip and, and strategy and, and, and trick in the book to list that house at the highest possible value and to, and to sell it fast, you know. So if you were to take a little bit of, of, of that knowledge and dump it into a cell phone video, you would crush it. It's that simple, dude. It's that simple, but most won't do that. And so if they can't do that, I'm like, shit, man. I can crush it for you, but if you're not willing to put out the content, we may have a problem. So mm -hmm. if it's not you portraying, and if it's not you giving me that fire and passion and excitement and knowledge via video, then you're going to have to put out a headshot because I want to brand you. So it's going to be some type of, of image of you, not of, a, not of some freaking pretty house. I don't give a shit about a pretty house, bro. It's in them all. It's an image of you, and you're going to have to explain all that in text. So if you're giving away a seller guide, you're going to have to write me a paragraph on what the hell your seller guide consists of when all you had to do was, was give it to me in a, in a, in a, in a one-minute video. Hey, guys, this is David. I wanted to come on here for a couple minutes and just share with you the top seven tips to increase the value of your home before selling. I know a lot of folks are selling this year, and I wanted to kind of share my two cents. I've been doing this for 10 years. I want to let you know what I advise my clients to do before we even put the property on the market. Tip number one, we make sure that the landscaping is all up to date. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, and by the way, you guys, click the learn more button. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free 2020 seller guide. We put together this, this seller guide, which gives you the top 10 tips on what to do to increase the value of your home. You guys are going to love it. Click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can get your free copy. See you guys soon. And that's a freaking video, dude, that we run to your zip code, to your farm, and we do a different one every week. This week, we were talking about freaking landscaping and curb appeal. Next week, we're talking about renovating your kitchen. The other week, we're talking about how important it is to maybe have a good roof. Those, like, are, those are ads you're running on Facebook, or is that them just posting, posting on their Facebook page? Ads. Both. They're taking that video, posting it to their business page, and running an ad on it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So you're not just doing open house ads or new listing ads. You're, doing, you're yes. posting their content ads. E either, either a listing but if we don't have a listing, if we don't have an open house coming up, then we're doing a video on a seller guide or a okay, buyer guide. You. Yeah. So gotcha. it's only if you don't have a listing or an open house. Um, so that's being automated to their email, right? Once they click submit, it's oh, being yeah, dude. That, that, ad, that, that short video is being sent to their email? No, no, no. That's a Facebook ad. That's on Facebook. Oh, that okay. Video, they click on it. It actually plays. The yeah, video dude. Plays like right if you're over here on Facebook and you're just scrolling through Facebook and seeing what everybody is up to, you know, you're seeing what your friends are doing, you're scrolling through, and then all of a sudden you come across a sponsored post. This is a video ad. Like this gotcha. right here. This is an actual ad. Right. So this gotcha. could be this could easily be you. Look, look how short this video is, dude. It's a freaking 12 second video. But the only reason why this is, this is actually when it comes to all of this stuff, dude, this guy right here is as goofy as he looks. This guy right here is my number one mentor. It's so funny that we come across his sponsored ad at this moment. And it's <laughs> only planned. 12 seconds. <laughs> no. It's only That's 12 awesome. seconds. And the purpose right. of this 12 second video is to simply, because he can't be possibly talking about much in 12 seconds. But right. the purpose is to track everyone who's watching it and then show them video ad number two. So mm -hmm. all he's doing is tracking who's viewing it, not by name and phone numbers. I, I didn't put my lead note. I didn't put my name and number nowhere. So it's not a lead in Facebook. When you start to create custom audiences, 
Facebook starts to put everybody in a bucket, everybody who clicks like, everybody who comments, everybody who watches your video. And so what he's doing in this specific strategy is he's putting everyone who watched 12 seconds of the video into a very specific bucket, which is called a Facebook custom audience. And now as I go through, as I scroll through Facebook again tomorrow, I'll see his next ad. So what, what happens if someone clicks on the learn more? Does it take him to his page or something? Oh yeah. Click on learn more. And he's not taking me to a Facebook lead form or anything like that. He's taking me straight to one page and asking for my name and number. Right. Gotcha. And so once I enter my name and email into that, I receive an email automated right away. I'm going to receive another email tomorrow. I'm going to receive another email the following day. I'm going to receive another email the next day. And so Okay. This right here was a Facebook conversions ad. He is trying to get people to this page over here to fill out the form. Okay. And, and, and where I learned, it's so funny that I'm seeing his ad right now, where I learned all of this shit from, bro, is this guy. This guy right here runs an eight-figure online business. Right. This guy right here, dude. This crazy-looking, goofy guy right here, he did eight <laughs> figures. And, and, wow. and the, way, the way you can even know if a person does eight figures or not, one thing that ClickFunnels does is they have these annual conventions and they give away awards. I did and see so, that, yeah, with all yeah. the people trying to sell the link or the affiliate link. Well, that, that, that's one thing, the affiliate link. But as far as just the way they track it, the way they give out these awards is they, they track how, how, much, how much in transactions went through your funnel. So in this case, he's, I'm clicking learn more. He's bringing me, bringing me to over, over to this page where he's selling me something. This right here is a ClickFunnels page. So mm -hmm. as I fill out the form and as I buy whatever the hell he's selling, you know, that shit adds up. And so when, when people receive an award from ClickFunnels, it's normally an award where the marketer puts seven figures through that, through that, through that, through that funnel. So he did a million through that funnel. But this guy, he has the award for eight figures. Wow. So he's putting, he, he put over 10 million through his funnel. And actually that's, that's the video right there. That's the award right there. So wow. very few have that silver X award. Right. He, he does. So wow. this is a guy that I learned my, my Facebook ads from. Um, and, and, and it's, it's, I mean, he keeps it so simple. It's not even funny, but I had to invest a lot of money to, to learn from this guy. I bet. Yeah. And, and it was worth every penny. But, um, but the point is, dude, is, is, is just running conversion ads, taking them to, to some type of landing page to capture the lead, man. That's it. And, and now are you buying a domain? What's like, that? like, like in Kartra, I know you're setting all this up, but are you, are you attaching like david.com? Like, are you attaching a domain that you buy from say GoDaddy? You can. Or something? Yeah, you can. You can, like I have um, the one that I have attached to mine, like up here, I just use the, the default Karcher ones, but I do have a domain that's tied to it as well, where it's tied to a specific funnel inside of Karcher, and that's my real estate funnel. Um, that's the socialrealestateagent.com. So, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. so the socialrealestateagent.com. That's the one domain that I have inside of Karcher, and that goes to my, my book page. Okay. So, so when you're, when you're running the ad, you said the first time the like ad, you're, you're just requesting access to their business page. That's it. And then you're still running the ad through your business manager account, Yes. but then you'll jump into their ads manager. No, 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 no. Gen? That's later on. Yeah, exactly. When, when yeah. we go on to the next step. Right. So okay. That, and, and I'm only going on to that next step when they schedule the appointment based off of the emails that they receive after I onboarded them and those emails aren't coming out to them for another, another two to three weeks. So as I mm -hmm. onboard a client, I'm emailing them. I'm literally sending them six emails within the next 30 days. So I am trying to get them back on the phone at the end of that month. Right. So, so now are you the admin of their business page? Is that what yeah, they're adding? I am. In? Yeah. The admin of their business page. Yeah. I got you. Okay. But there's two things that you have. You have a, you have a, you have a business page and then you have a, and then you have a, you have, a, you, you have a business page and then you have, well, it's really the technical, the real technical term is ads manager. You have an ads manager and you have an ads account. So, so, but the ads manager, 
that's not that's not even something you, you're going to get access to as the ads manager. It's really just a business page for the like ad. So to run one ad, you only need access to their business page if you're charging them for it all, which which is what I do. So they'll they'll just give me a credit card for three hundred, and at, out of that three hundred, I'll take a, a a piece of it out and put it towards the ad because I have the numbers down packed where I know exactly how much that ad's going right. to cost. So I'll I'll just I'll just you know spend whatever the heck. Is, is needed and then Facebook charges me because it's, it's coming from my, my ad account. Right. But again, that's only one ad after that, when they bring me on monthly, I'm running everything out of their ad account. Yeah. So you, you ask permission to join their ad account to, yeah. Request and, and you're still running it account. out of your business manager though. Yes. But from their ad account with their yeah, credit so the, card number on that account. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that yeah. part I understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, now the, the thing about Kartra, I don't know if you'd be able to answer this, but, um, my wife wants to start a life coaching business. Oh, so bro. if I were to, if I were to open up a Kartra account for my business and we've got unlimited funnels or whatever, can we also under one account, me and my wife, can we also run her life coaching and mine and make all these separate funnels or would we need two accounts? Do you think? That's a very good question. No, I could definitely answer that question. I can answer. I could. I mean, no, not to toot my horn, but I, I, I'm, I'm pretty good with Kartra where I can answer every question. But that one for sure, that's an easy one. Yes and no. Yes, because it's you and your wife, and no one gives a damn, and you guys can share whatever the hell you want to share. But no, when it comes to the canned spam laws, meaning those oh. emails that go out has to have someone's name at the bottom. So, so for example, let me show you, um, and every email is like this, every email provider. Let me see if I can show you, um, any random email from Kartra at the very mm -hmm. bottom, at the very bottom is your contact information. And so it's not a Kartra thing. It is a, it is a. Uh, let me see if it's on this one. It's a, it's a canned spam. It's an email law. Like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. This is a perfect example. So this is a Kartra email. This is just someone that bought my book or whatever, but okay. at the bottom of the email, you see, this would be Scott. That would say your name and that would yeah. be your, your address. Okay. And it can only be one name. Why does it say Kartra and not like David or because this, this came from, Kartra. This is just a, a oh, okay. cell. This is a cell that, that I made on mine, but Kartra okay. sends me a copy of, of the actual transaction. So okay. it has their, their information, but it would be your information right here or your wife's. So your wife having a completely different business, you wouldn't want it to say Shane. And then an, you guys can both have the same address for sure. But maybe if you had like, a, uh, like, I, like you shared the same company name, maybe somehow, some way, I see what you mean because if I if I sign up the account under me and then we just start doing life coaching ads, yeah, it's gonna Scott and that has nothing to do with my wife's yeah life yeah coaching. yeah okay yeah, yeah I, I I get that yeah it's it's only on the emails so it's only on the emails and so nothing to do with ads nothing that nothing have to do with funnels it's all in the emails gotcha a, a, an email law where that has to be the person who's running the emails. Okay. Now let me ask you, are you an independent contractor or did you register a business name? No, I don't have, I don't have a business name. Um, if anything, I'm an independent contractor. I'm just an affiliate with Kartra. So they send me a 1099. I make commissions from them and that's pretty much it. But this right here is just a book sale. Um, mm -hmm. But that email down there, yeah, it has to, it has to be either yours or hers name. Yeah. So like when you're running, when you're running ads for realtors and stuff and they're paying you, um, that's, mm -hmm. that's more like an independent contractor to the government. Like it's like David yeah. made much money this year. Yeah. Not, yeah. Like, not like the company. What, what, what you're going to end up doing is like, for example, um, Stripe is where I run all my credit cards through. Cause right. These right. people are giving me a credit card. I have to process that credit card. So Stripe is a very popular online merchant account. 
that many, many online marketers use. You'll probably want to use that one too. It's pretty straightforward. It's simple. Yep. But at the end of the year, you log in and you get a K1. So it's your 1099. So I could take that 1099 and it just shows there. It shows all my revenue. It shows the revenue for the year. And that's what I give the tax person. So you're not really forced to be a business. No, not, not, not until you're freaking way up there, dude. Like even my tax person, my accountant, she said, David, it's not like you're making millions yet. So don't even worry about incorporating just yet. So right. everything is still run under my name for right now until, until I really release my course. That's, that's what I plan on scaling is, is my actual digital course. That's where I'll do hundreds of thousands per year on that course. Right. And I'll eventually incorporate for sure. But right now I'm nowhere near that. So it's not a huge okay. liability. Okay. And, so, when I, and, and through my Stripe account, because once you process a credit card, that person receives an email right away. So when I set up my Stripe account, I just set it up under Inspired Digital. So it's not like the re, it's a receipt. So I process a credit card, Stripe emails them a receipt. And on that receipt, it just says my, my, my name, Inspire Digital, but no one's looking me up. I mean, no one's, you know, freaking calling me out on the fact that I'm not a corporation or something like that. Right. You know, it's just, it's just, it's, if anything, it's a DBA, you know, Inspire Digital. But mm. on the receipt, it'll say Inspired Digital. Um, and that's the receipt that a customer will see if I charge their credit card, you know? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, yeah. I mean, you give me a wealth of information, which is awesome. Yeah, kind of helped me steer me in the right direction. So I really, I honestly really do appreciate that. Bro, if you set up a Karcher account, you have my time whenever you need it. So yeah. that's what I always, um, you know, extend out to people as well. Um, because if it's not that, then shit, we have to work out something because we're going to spend a lot of time if I have to explain all this shit to you all the time. You know what I mean? Right. And that's when no, I, I think, I think Karcher is the way, um, like you said, Zapier, MailChimp, all that. You yeah. might as well just do it all in one. All in one, uh, man. But I think my biggest thing was trying to get clarity on where to start. Like I said, I've got that one realtor and I've already hit kind of a roadblock. And I think I need to click the reset button and kind of have a conversation with them and maybe switch to, to Kartra, maybe start slow with him. Because he's only been in the business three months. So he's been asking me tips and questions because his broker's too busy for him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I've been helping him, you know, over the phone. But when it comes to ads, um, uh, you know, I need a refresher course in that. Um, so you definitely helped me well, out with that, that end. I have, I have a ton of videos on Facebook ads on my YouTube channel. If you go into the playlist, Facebook ads, or even strategy calls, where I'm on these calls with realtors or we're going through a Facebook ad, watch a few of those. Like you'll learn, you'll learn how to run a damn ad. Like just right. those videos alone, conversion ads, landing page. But as I'm saying, if you set up a landing page through my link, I will give you my time to help you set it all up. Okay. And is there a way for you to know that I've done that? Like if I said, Hey, I, I yes. signed up. Yeah, for sure. I could track it on my back end. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. So, so set that up. That alone would be worth, the time because no one's going to teach you any of this shit, bro, for free. <laughs> no, no, I get, you know, I get, <laughs> you know, so yeah, that's all I asked. Well, that's why, least. that's why I initially reached out to you. Cause I'm like, I need this guy to coach me. And you know, that's why I want to know if you had a program, if you did coaching, I could easily but, um, freaking, I can easily steer one up for you right now and call it a few hundred bucks, but it's like, shit, I don't, <laughs> I, I'd rather not do that. Set up a damn cartridge yeah. account and call me anytime. Yeah, no, I, re I really you know? appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, man, for sure, bro. For sure. So just how, how would I, how would I get a hold of you? Like an email or, uh, cause I think I just messaged you through YouTube or something. So yeah, if I did, you got my up, email now, uh, you got my email now, the confirmation, oh, the email, right. the, the calendar, the appointment confirmation, that's my email. Okay. So, Perfect. so yeah, dude. So next step would be to for sure learn landing pages and, and, mm -hmm. and, and learn some Facebook ads. But, but I'm telling you, if you set up the Karcher account, I'll give you my time and I'll teach you these Facebook ads. All right. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, for sure. So message and, me. And, I can get, and everything you've talked about um, with Kartra and selling courses, can I, and, and running ads and all that, can I do that with the $99? Hell account? yeah, dude. You're going to need, your wife is going to need Kartra for the membership course. As she packages up her, her, her course, because that's what it's going to be. It's going to be either, either a coaching course where she is giving her time and selling by the hour or whatever she wants to do. 
Kartra is where she can charge that client through Stripe and through Kartra. But if she wants to put together videos in, mm -hmm. some, type, in some type of digital course form, Kartra is that for sure. I have a video course. That's what I'm getting ready to scale. I have 55 videos in a training course teaching real estate agents, Kartra and Facebook ads. All of that is inside of Kartra. So I take one link, I promote the shit out of it and it's all in Kartra. Right. So they and when, their, you share, when you share that link to them, say you make that landing page and you share it to them and they open up a Kartra account and then they decide, okay, we're going to part ways that, that link, I guess that's gone. Like if they keep the Kartra account, can you pull that link back or do they no, keep that? No, they don't, they don't need to, um, they don't even need to know what the link is. I mean, they don't, I, I don't even have, there's no affiliation whatsoever. Like if, if they click on my link and they set up their own Kartra account, I make a commission. I make a commission every month. They don't even know who the hell, what link they clicked on. They just set up an account. But, but it's no, I mean, sorry. What I, what I meant was if a realtor wants to work with you yeah, and you did the landing page, which you have templates of, mm -hmm. and you just say, okay, open up your Kartra account. I'm going to send you a share link and there's your, mm -hmm. there's your landing page. And then after a few months they say, okay, I, I, you know, times are tough or whatever. We have to part ways, mm -hmm. but they mm -hmm. keep, they keep the Kartra account. Oh yeah. They keep are everything. They still, are they still able to use that link? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. It's their own link. It's their own Kartra link now tied so to my you page. Can't pull it, you can't pull it away or say, well, nor do you need to. Me, no, nor, nor do you want to, nor do you need to, you don't want to, you don't have to at yeah. all. Like if I give you, if I give it to you, then it's yours. No big deal. You paid I me already. You. Yeah. You paid me already for it. You're going to end up keeping it. So I make 40% of the, of the recurring commission anyways, every month. That's true. That's true. So I don't, I don't care, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, man. So start playing around with it, man. Set it up. Okay. At least set up a 14 day trial so you can get used to it and, and just get acclimated to just the way it works. And not only do you have my time with that, but you, we have uh, Tuesday and Thursday coaching calls. So, so Kartra support jumps on screen share and they spend an hour, hour and a half every Tuesday and Thursday answering questions. So you can Is that through Kartra? That's all through Kartra. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what most companies don't have, dude. They don't have a, a, a support like that where they actually jump on screen share and it's a Q and A. So right. we do a Q&A every Tuesday and Thursday. And that's where I learned all, all this from. I just jump on. I'm like a fly on the wall and I'm just watching them as they're answering people's questions. If I have a question, I'll ask it and they'll walk me through it. So that's where I learned everything in the beginning. And now I can just, you know, I can kind of nav navigate pretty well through it. But in the beginning, you'll have me, you'll have those training calls. And over here on Facebook, we have a freaking um, Kartra group with like, Last time I checked, there was like 17,000 people in it. Like over here, Kartra, 18,000 people in the Kartra what? group. So not only can you come over here and post a freaking question and 20,000 people freaking respond, you know what I mean? That's a lot of support right there too. So Kartra is blowing up, man. And it's only because really I truly believe everything's in one. That yeah. right there is a game changer. That saves people a lot of money because in the beginning, you're not, you're not making any money on any of this, on anything. Like in the beginning, whether you're trying to sell something online, whether your wife has a coaching program, it's going to take her a while to build all that out to finally make a sell. Like it's going to take a while. And when you have to juggle multiple services, it can get expensive and it can get hard. It can get confusing as shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and so if I can just have everything in one at one monthly payment, that was the selling point for me. Two years, right. ago, two years ago. So yeah, man, set up a 14 day trial and then just hit me up and say, Hey David, I set it up, send me some freaking funnels and let's schedule the call to chat and I'll help and I can you. click I'll on your affiliate you. link on one of your YouTube videos. Yeah, bro. On any of the YouTube videos. And then, and then, and then, um, again, man, we can always jump on strategy calls and I can walk you through it. Cause what do I get out of it? I get the, I get the monthly commission, which is not a whole lot, but it's something and it's a residual income that I'm building, but I get to record the video, turn it into a tutorial and throw it on my YouTube channel. Right. So, so I, I went out of it as well. You went out of it as well. Cause you're not having to pay someone by the hour to teach all this shit. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's, I think it's a win-win for sure. You know? So yeah, man. So just, I think that'd be your next step and it just hit me up, man. And we'll jump on a call. All right. No, I appreciate the time. Right on awesome. Scott. All right, brother. Let's talk soon. Okay. All right, man. Talk See you later. Bye-bye.